Hi, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I am going to share um, my latest haul from Tanchi Mountain Studios. And I've had this, I think, for, let's see, maybe like two weeks. Um, she shipped it on the 16th, so yeah, I probably had it about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, just trying to get caught up on show and hauls. Also, this one is all fall back, so I'm going to get it upstairs in my new, like my fall <laughs> baskets for melting. So, um, I got a fall sampler, which is what you see in the bag with the, um, owls, and it had a twist tie on it. Um, and then I got two clamshells. So let's go through the clamshells really quick. This one is pumpkin souffle, which is pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, orange peel, butter, clove, ginger, maple, and vanilla. And, um, these were in Horageous so Ships. These have a pour date of 5-3 melt after 5-6, so I think it's really nice she puts pour dates and scent descriptions, um, and these are good to go, so, um, see it has like a stamp in it, made with love, that's really cute. Yes, I'm getting like a pumpkin, just kind of reminds me of like pumpkin pie, with like a little bit of pumpkin spice, so I think that one's going to be nice, so I'm excited to try that one. Um, I haven't had any clamshells from her before, just, um, like, shapes and brittle. Oh, no, I did have a little bit of shapes. I guess I have, um, I'm sorry, I'm talking about clamshells. <laughs> I haven't had clamshells from her. Um, and this one is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Very rich, warm, buttery vanilla fragrance with a hint of cream, butter, pecan, and maple. Yeah, it's just like, you know... It's a pretty standard scent. Um, I really like pumpkin pecan waffles. It's just like a bakery, um, like pumpkin scent, usually with like maple. So that's nice. So I'm excited to try that one. And then here's the sampler. I'm going to dump this out. So I always like trying samplers. Um, and I'm especially obsessed with fall and Halloween ones right now. So I really love Halloween and fall. So this one is Brandied Pear, which is Sweet Pea, Floral, and Musk. These are cute little leaves. I have to weigh these, but these are probably really perfect for melting. Um, some of you might would maybe even want to melt too. And then it says your room. But yeah, it just smells like a... like a, you know, pear that's sort of, not like spicy, but it, it's kind of musky, which is supposed to be like that brandy scent, I assume, so that's really good. Um, I don't have a whole lot of pear scent, so I'm excited to try that one. And this one is green apple, which is just juicy orchard apple. Um, and these were poured, most of these look like poured 8-3, so um, they're about a, just about a month now, so... I think they'll be good to melt. And these are really cute little apples. Yeah, it's a really nice, just like a nice apple, green apple scent. Um, it smells a little, almost like baby powdery too, on top of it, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, this might be a weird description, but that's just what I think of when I was smelling it. And these are some more apples. Since I also have some little... I don't know if it's actually like glitter, if it's like that kind of sugary decoration stuff. Or it's just, maybe it's just wax color. Anyways, it's cute. This one is caramel apple, which I always like caramel apple. Um, I'm not always a fan of just apple scents sometimes. Um, I do like the green apple ones, but like the mac apple, I'm kind of like, eh. This one is crisp apple creamy caramel. See, this one was poured end of um, end of July. Yeah, it's just a nice caramel apple scent. So if you've had Vendor Rex, or you should probably know what caramel apple smells like, right? <laughs> okay, so this one is Macintosh apple, green citrus, crisp apple, and light musk. So they're like some pink. Apples. And yeah, it's a standard sort of Mac Apple scent. Um, Mac Apple's not my favorite, but I'm going to try blending these with something, so 
I will definitely try that. And then this one, oh, see, these, she has these really big clamshells. This is like one clamshell that she sells, um, and some of them have like cute holiday themes on the bottom of the clamshell, so that's one of those. This one is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice vanilla cream and marshmallow. Yeah, it's just like, like a, um, pumpkin pie with like a lot of extra like creaminess on top, like, I know it's marshmallow, but it also ma almost makes me think of like, um, you know, like pumpkin pie with like a ton of whipped cream on it. <laughs> um, or if you think about like those, um, like sweet potato casserole with like the marshmallows, but being pumpkin said, it's kind of what it reminds me of. And then this is another one with the... Uh, the big, these are supposed to be, I think, close to an ounce. These cubes, I have to weigh them all. Um, and this one is apple barrel cider, mulled apple, cinnamon stick, brown sugar, vanilla bean, warm oak. Maybe I'll stop focusing so much on the background. Yeah, this just is a really good, like, spicy apple cider scent. Like, think about, like, the warm apple cider that people make during fall. Kind of just smells like that. Those spices. Um, and then this one is just a toasted marshmallow, which is it's fruit cream vanilla bean marshmallow, which I've never seen anyone um, describe a toasted marshmallow, but that's nice. Which, if you've... Oh, this one's too colored, too. I don't know these big... Big pumpkin clamshell pieces, so um, pretty standard toasted marshmallow, which I like. So that'll be nice. And then here we have some more leaves. Um, that one has three in it. This one had four, so I'm guessing it's based on weight for the sampler itself. Um, so this one is Tanshi Mountain Leaves, Cedarwood, Pine, Balsam, Fresh Cut Grass, and Rain. That's, um, it's just like a really nice, fresh kind of spa scent. It's not overly um, done in like the pine and cedar wood. Um, I don't, I don't smell it and think, oh, that smells like pine or you know, kind of woodsy. Um, it's more just like a really fresh, like spa scent. These ones are some cute little owls, which I've had these um, before from some other vendors. These other ones, though, I have never seen before, so that's nice. Hot baked apple pie. Clove, apple, crust, and sugar. Yeah, it just smells like like an apple pie that just came out of the oven. Or like, um, yeah, I can't think of the other word. Like the apple, um, oh, I can't think of the word. Apple dumplings. That's what I was thinking. So that's really nice. Cute. Cute bells. Looks like we got one more. This one is Cider Lane, which um, I believe is a Bath and Body Works dupe. Cinnamon, hot cider, spices, clove, nutmeg. And then this one has three of the leaves again. Yeah, it's just a really nice like cider, kind of like hot apple cider sort of scent, but it's I mean, it's less heavy on the spices as, like, that, um, which one was it? It's less heavy on the spices than, like, the apple cider barrel. There's definitely a distinct difference in them, um, and you see they do have, you know, some similar notes in them, so I'm excited to try that one. Cider Lane's a good one. Um, a lot of vendors usually have a Cider Lane this time of year. Just a little more, like, creamy almost makes me think it's made with like a like a green apple sort of scent so instead of like a, a red so that's it guys um it was a sampler and two clams so thank you